in celebration of passing 1,000 hours in game a few weeks ago, I want to share some of my learned lessons from just playing the game and building lots and lots of creations, some successful, some not so much. As we all know, the idea of building is central to the game of Stormworks, so in this video I want to share some advice on how to improve your builds by using different strategies and adopting different mindsets. These 5 tips are based on my learning curve and are really just recommendations, so whether you want to implement them is completely up to you. These are by no means rigid guidelines which you need to follow, just an ounce of advice from a fellow creator. I also want to add that although Stormworks has its unique quirks, every single one of these tips can be applied to practically any other building game, even Legos. So without further ado, in no particular order, here are my 5 building tips for Stormworks. This first tip is more of a change in mentality than a concrete strategy, but it is nonetheless one of the more important ones on this list. Starting a brand new build is always a challenge for anyone, even if you have a concrete plan, but one of the biggest mistakes you can make is concerning yourself with the details when you shouldn't be. For example, a flag or small decor on the deck, you never want to start small. Always think big picture first. If you're building a boat hull, then lay out your hull, then proceed to shape your superstructure, then the windows, then the hull paint, etc. Small details should always be reserved for the last step. Personally, I struggled a lot in this area when I started building in Stormworks. I would begin new projects and immediately get carried away with the details, forgetting about the overall construction of the build. It's really easy to get sidetracked when building, and that's why this piece of advice bears so much importance. Look at any talented builder's works in progress and you'll see how their builds take shape. They always take the time to make sure the whole design is solid before moving on to the detailing. In fact, the main idea behind building in layers like this is to give yourself as much room for error as possible, because you want to make sure that the big picture of your vehicle is complete and looking the way you want it before moving on to other, more minor steps. In real life and in other art mediums, the same strategy is applied. This next tip is especially useful for large ship hull construction and things of that manner. Often, when you want to build something with a specific kind of curve, it helps to think more like a sculptor than a builder. Change your mindset to remove instead of add. In other words, build by removing material instead of adding onto it. This is the method that I use to construct the massive hull of my 1 to 1 scale Damon Tug, which is available in the workshop by the way. When dealing with shapes that are massive and complex, working this way makes it possible to almost sketch your designs onto a canvas and adjust as you see fit. Now, this one seems kind of obvious. Who wouldn't plan ahead of time to get a better idea of what the final product will look like? Interestingly though, it is something that I struggled with a lot when I started Stormworks. Often I would start a build not even picturing what I wanted to accomplish in my own head. Well, turns out it's one of the most important things you can do before to ensure that your design comes together. Just having a solid idea in your brain will help you massively when you're building. Starting from nothing is usually very frustrating and in most cases leads to no good. This advice basically boils down to improving your imagination, which if you play building games you probably already have a lot of. A lot of the time we tend to draw inspiration from others' work, so a good way to get started on a build is to look online for pictures. Discord is also a great tool, not a day goes by without me scrolling at least once through the vehicle showcase section. Just purely from looking at the works of others, you can start to pick up on little design elements and incorporate them into your own builds. The main takeaway here is, know what you want, spend some time looking at pictures or various other art forms and look to your community for inspiration. That's right, if you thought these tips were confined to the game, you were wrong. Now, obviously you can become a great, even amazing builder by just practicing, there's no denying that, but because we work so much in 3D, it helps to practice other art forms as well. In reality, when we draw or paint or sculpt, we use our brains and eyes more than our hands. The computer is just the interface. Therefore, one can evolve their artistic skills through other mediums. Personally, I love to sketch and draw things, which has no doubt helped me look at things differently and build better as a byproduct. You know what they say, it never hurts to try. So go out there and try a different art form. I guarantee that you'll find at least a smidge of improvement in your builds. But like anything, it will take time. You can even try 3D modeling straight up. Just download a free software like Blender and start building with some YouTube tutorials.
Finally, when building scaled mockups and exact replicas, not using guidelines and real world measurements would be a cardinal sin. Often when drawing inspiration, you'll find yourself flipping through the website of a vehicle's real manufacturer. Most times, plans and sketches are easily accessible and prove to be quite helpful in your building process. For that same Damon tug that I brought up earlier, I was able to find detailed plans which without the use of, I for sure would not have been able to construct such an accurate replica. Another thing to watch out for is your brain's own perception of scale inside the game. When attempting an exceptionally large build, measurements are often crucial for achieving the correct scale. Our minds have trouble visualizing huge objects, therefore limiting our ability to build massive creations without the context of measurements. If you ever want to see this in action, try starting a large build without even measuring anything. You're almost guaranteed to underestimate its proportions. So, in short, remember that if your project depends heavily on realistic dimensions, find schematics, measure everything out, or even use paint blocks to get every curve spot on. Also, keep in mind that one meter in real life is the same as four blocks in game, although I'm pretty sure you already knew that. Today, I tried a bit of a different format, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you didn't, well, you know what to do. In any case, Thank you so much for stopping by. Seeing my channel grow from nothing to over 100 subscribers has been unreal, and I hope that the journey has just begun. Until next time, peace out.